Matt back, and today, um, like I said, we're going to be doing a GUI application in Java. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and create a new project. But since we already did this in the last tutorial, I'm just going to build on top of our old project, our Hello World project. So if you want to take a look at this project, um, although not necessary, um, it does show how to create a project and I'll leave that in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So we're going to open our project we created last video and give that a second to load. And here we go. So in the last video, we created our um, main folder and our um, hello world uh, file. And this is what we did. And if we go ahead and just run this, um, it'll show hello world, the hello world string. But for this, we're going to be building something on top of this. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and right click on that new Java class and then create a launcher class and a GUI class. Although the names don't specifically matter, I recommend those. Um, and just forget about the hello world. You can actually delete that if you want. I'm just going to leave it for now though. Now what I want to focus on is our launcher class right now. So like in the last video I explained the main. So here is our main function for the application. And it's just going to create a new instance of our GUI uh, dot Java code. And uh, that's really simple. This isn't needed, but if you're on OS 10, this is just a nice little extra that um, gives you, like you see, it says IntelliJ idea. This will just call it whatever you put right there. So it's kind of a bonus if you're on OS 10, but if you're not, don't bother with that line. Now, of course, now that we've created the instance, we need to go into our GUI code. And from here, we need to start coding. So we have our package name, um, as indicated there. And then here we need to import some stuff. Um, we need to import Java Swing. You have to do Java X dot Swing. And here we're going to import Java dot AWT dot um, star. And then that's going to just import everything from the AWT class. And once again, the star will import everything from the swing class. So here we've got our public class GUI, which we referenced in there. And it's going to extend a JFrame, which is our window. And then we're just going to name the JFrame AS. You can name this anything you want, but I'll just call it AS. And that will be a new JFrame. And this will be our uh, title on the window. And right here, we're going to create a JLabel or just a label, and I'm going to call it title. You don't have to call it title, you can name it anything you want, that's just for programming. And now we're here, we're going to start our public GUI class. Now, uh, some of these aren't so much required, but so the set default look and feel decorated true, it's just a nice thing to make your operating system, um, kind of, it blends in with your OS more. And now here we're creating our box layout. Don't really mind this code so much. Um, this is the layout. When you're doing Java GUI, you have to choose a layout. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to use box layout because it goes top to bottom. And we're going to set the layout to box layout like we made here. And we're going to pack it and then we're going to set it as visible. Now here's where our title comes into play, the J label title. So we're going to create a new J label and here's the text that it will show. And um, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to set the font to Helvetica, and we're going to make that just regular and 30 points. Um, and we're also going to set that to the center of our window. And then we're going to add the title to AS. Um, and now this is just some window stuff, so we're going to set AS to be relative location to null. They should put it around the center. Um, well, it'll put the corner of your application in the center. Um, as.setSize, this is the size of our window. And once again, uh, set visible true. Um, you don't have to do this twice, and I don't know why I did it twice. Or maybe you do. I don't remember. Um, and then we're going to do the default close operation 
exit on close. This is so when you press the X, like that X right there, that it actually closes the application um, rather than leaves it running. And uh, you need this on at least your main form, um, unless you want the application to always run, no matter what. So now that we've done that, we need to debug it. Now we can go um, run and then debug. Now in the last one, um, we did a diff. We debugged our hello world. We have to create a new configuration to debug this. And I've already created one um, called launcher. You don't have to name it launcher, but so just press the plus application, and then you'll have this. You can name it anything you want, and then you just choose the main class, which I've chosen to be launcher. And then basically that's it. Just hit apply, and then hit debug, and just wait for it to finish debugging. And then there we go. We have our window name, we have that uh, title, and then once again, the little kind of extra uh, OS X thing, it gives us this. Um, so that way we have a name. And um, when we click, press the X, it actually quits the application. Um, so yeah, that is just a quick video on how to create a Java GUI. Um, in the next one, I will show you how to export your Java as a jar file so you can dis distribute it. Uh, but uh, for now, thanks for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, peace.